So you're tired of having to buy batteries for your aerator, for your bait bucket. Well, I'm going to show you how I am going to overcome having to buy batteries all the time using a cell phone battery pack, a DC transformer, USB to this type of adapter, soldering iron, soldering, and some wire strippers, and a couple pieces of wire. Let's make one thing clear. This has to be the hush bubbles with the uh, adapter for the 12 volt cigarette lighter. But first we're gonna take the back off, which is where your battery compartment, where you would be putting your batteries at. And then you're going to need to determine which wires you're gonna need to use. Got your switch here, so this is coming off of your plus side, and then this is coming off your minus side, but what we're concerned with is right here. We need to go from this green wire and this yellow wire. Okay, one thing we need to do is we're gonna need to take this loose here. That's holding our adapter in place. Take that loose and just set it aside for now. And here's the money part. What we need to pay attention to here is the green that is coming off here is your positive side. You see it's tied into this red wire which is coming off the positive side of your batteries. It goes through a switch and then goes through the motor and then your yellow that's your negative side, it's just jumped across here. Those are the wires that we need to be concerned with. What we need to do is break the wires coming in from here through our transformer. On the inside, you've got in and then you've got out. So they're going to come in from here and then come out and go to the motor and the switch. Since we're no longer going to be using the spots for the D batteries, we're gonna take this loose from here and we're gonna use that for our out wire, our wire that comes out of our transformer. All right, so I'm going to remove the yellow wire off of our plug, which is our negative side. Okay, now I'm going to attach this wire, which is just a little longer wire, to it because we've got to come off of this and go into our transformer. So we're going to tin this wire first, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the green wire and put another piece of wire on there that's longer also just to make sure I've got it long enough. I'll go ahead and tin the end of this wire also. Okay. And we'll attach this wire which is our positive wire to its post also. Just like that. Now we've got our positive and our negative. So in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in here so that it's where it needs to go.
Okay. All right. So we've got our positive, which is off the center post, is going to go to this side. So I'm going to kind of route it around like that. We'll cut it. Strip it. So we'll know it's going to go to there. And then our negative is going to go around and do the same thing. Bring it around this way. I'm always going to cut my wires just a little bit long. So that I know I have enough. All right, positive, negative. Next, we're going to come out of our transformer on the positive side up to the switch with our yellow brown wire. Then we're going to take this little white wire and we're going to go from the negative side on the out to our motor. So we're going to replace this little one right here with this. So let's go ahead and we'll remove the little red one. Strip the end on this. We'll tend this wire as well. And we'll go ahead and solder this one. Now we need to remove this little bit of yellow wire from the motor down in there. Hopefully I can get to that without burning anything else up. Yeah, okay. Now the tricky part, we're gonna need to put this wire on in its place. Strip it, tin it. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt to put this. There we go. All right. All that's cooling off. We're going to go ahead and wire these two in. Like I said, this is off our positive side. So you've got the in and positive, and then you've got in and negative. So we'll put in positive in the correct spot, and then we've got in negative. We'll put it in on its correct spot. Pull on them, make sure they're nice and tight. And then let's take our battery bank here. Plug it in here on the USB side. And then we're going to plug it in here to make sure. Oh, look, it's working. Okay. So right now it's putting out 4.1 volts. The reason why you have to do this is because if you put just this straight to it, you're going to be putting too many volts to the motor and it's going to burn the motor up and it's going to sound like, or it will eventually burn the motor up and it will sound like the motor is going crazy, like a pissed off bumblebee trying to take off. But anyway, so what this is doing is reducing your DC voltage down to 1.5 volts. We've got a little potentiometer screw here that we're going to turn to try and lower that. We're turning it into counterclockwise. See, I'm already down to 2.6 volts on the output side. 1.9, 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, 1 1.4. I'm going to try and put it at the 1.5 right there because that is what your batteries are putting out. 
originally it was wired in in parallel so that you're using the capacity of the batteries and not the voltage if it were in series you would be getting 3 volts instead of 1.5 now we're going to connect our motor leads and we'll test it out so our yellow was our positive out which is over here on the same side and our white is our negative out which is basically just making it to the motor so our positive is the one that's breaking through the switch okay now let's test it out with the motor plug it in plug it in turn it on flip the switch and it's working it's putting out air so we can adjust the switch to make it go faster with this potentiometer it's about 1.9 it's putting out more air but just to show you at the original at the full voltage coming in see it's way too much it's way too much it's not gonna it's not gonna last I think I'm going to leave it right there at about 1.9. The switch works. Turn it off. Turn it on. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to tin these wires. Because I don't really like the way they're making contact in there. Okay. Now that I've tinned my wires from our connections inside here on the board, it's making a better connection. We'll test it out one more time just to make sure everything works. Again, plug it in, get our voltage in. Now, because it doesn't have a constant voltage coming out or a constant draw on your battery, you will have to press the button on the side of your battery to get it going. And everything's working. You can feel it coming, the air coming out right there. And we're at 76%. This was not a fully charged battery either. So we turn it back off, unplug it, and our final step is to secure it. We need to secure our board to inside our case. So what I'm going to do is use, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. All right, now that our hot glue gun is warmed up, I'm going to just take and put a dab of the glue on the corners, all four corners. Like that. And then we're going to set it down inside. Set it down in place, let the glue cool off. Really all we wanted to do was to hold it in there so it's not moving around. There we go. Secure, solid. Now you can put the case or the battery cover back on it. Like that. Here we go, 
proof that it works. We've got the us 2 a bubbler running off of our battery bank. We've got the hose. And we've got bubbles. We've got bubbles. I don't know if I'm going to try and Velcro it to the side right here or since that cable is so long I may bring it all the way around over here and Velcro it on the side on the back. The main thing is it works. I also have the angle aerator that came with the live bait cooler that I'm going to do the same thing to the difference between it is it has two speeds a high speed and a low speed but it runs off the batteries in in series instead of parallel so it will be using a little more than a, it'll be using a max of three volts instead of one and a half volts but the buck boost transformer that I have when you order it off of Amazon it comes with two of them so that was perfect I've got one for here and I'll do one for the other one I'll make a video on that one when I get to it